G'day everybody on this uh, no, wet and wild windy day down on the farm. It's not a sort of quiet one, me and Dad are just doing a couple of odd jobs. Um, we're just bringing out some salt blocks to the sheep at the moment. So I thought we'd sort of just do an explanation what that's all about for people who are interested and don't know. Um, sort of out of the wind at the moment just so it doesn't muffle the uh, GoPro too much. Sorry, Dad's just there cutting open a couple of boxes there at the minute. So we'll have a chat to him. I think we're also going to have a look at the crops. Um, I'll probably spoke about him in the last couple of videos, I think, but because Dad's here, he'll be able to give us a little bit better of an idea about what's going on. And uh, yeah, so I'll come over to him in a minute. All right, we're just over here in the back of the ute now. So we've got all the salt blocks here um, in these boxes, and we're just out in the. This is the ute. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, up, yeah and with the Dooney ewes at the moment, so we've got a few blocks here for them, but I'll let Dad sort of talk about what these are all about. And um, yeah, we'll drop these ones down and go out to the other mob and give them some as well. Yeah, good day viewers, we're just dropping some salt, uh, salt blocks and salt licks, depending on which school you went to. Um, out to the la the ewes of the Jude lamb, and these New England ones, They've got a lot of um, minerals and nutrients in them, I suppose, if you want to say, to help the ewes maintain good condition and good health while they're in lamb and due to lamb. So I'm going to chuck two up here near the feeder and then we'll take another two down there by the... Um, dam for them and that just sort of helps keep their um, general health and well-being um, up and running while they're carrying a lamb and whatever and these fellas here these are just for the the dooney lambs we've got over there and a couple to go out for the um, dooney cross or the Dooney ewes that we've got the white Suffolk um, ram too. So we're just chucking these out just for a bit of su extra supplement along with a bit of hay that we're feeding them because as you can see there's not much green feed in the paddock and it's still pretty wet and it's still cold so it won't, the growth of the grass won't take off for another or at least another month I suppose about when these ones start lambing so uh, we put these out and uh, it sort of kicks them along a little bit and it makes them eat the hay a bit better and uh, drink plenty of water as well so um, it's just sort of vitamins for sheep you could say so. what's the difference between these ones and those ones? Uh, well these ones, they help with the milk production, um, which is what, what you want for these ewes here. So with a lack of real good green feed, they, they might get down in their milk production. So this helps make a bit more milk. And these ones, they're just for sort of grazing on um, same sort of deal, not a lot of green feed but dry dry feed as well or dry the hay we're feeding them and because those lambs don't need milk production we just chuck these ones out to them as well so you can get all different sorts of rocks these days so that's what mother got this morning or yesterday for us so we'll put them out We'll run around and put all these blocks out, then I think Cam wants to have a look at the crops and sort of have a bit of a talk about them. So we'll see you a bit later on down the track. This is basically what it looks like. It's just a big cube, basically, of just minerals and additives. It's just salty, really, that's what it tastes like. So the sheep will just come up as they come up to the feeder bin, which is, this is that new one we put up here last week. They'll come up and they'll just have a lick on that every now and then. And uh, yeah, there's Molly as well. So we're gonna put three here. 
And then, oh, two, sorry. And then where we put the third one? Another two down there, boys. Yeah, so we'll go into the dam and drop two more off there as well. And we'll uh, do that. We'll get these dogs back on the end as well. All right. Dex. Dex. Molly. She's too fat. Molly's too fat to jump up there so she can run. Oh, the joys of raised beds that used to be. No, this paddock had raised beds in it one, at one point when it was leased out quite some years ago now. And we're yet to plough it, to flatten it out. Basically, it's a pain in the ass. And it's, a it's a stupid farming practice. So, we'll get across this paddock over these beds. There's the ewes just all there. So they'll go over to that feeder a bit later on, I guess, when they're hungry or whatever. Right, we just come out to this middle dam, as we call it, and uh, just dropped off another couple of salt blocks. One there, one there, we're up on top of the dam bank, as Dad calls it. I'm calling it a hill. But anyway, so we've dropped these two off. So I think we've got three more still to drop off to the um, the lambs, and then we're dropping some off to the yeah the ewes with the um, the white Suffolk ram. So we'll head on out there and drop all those ones off as well, and then uh, go have a look at these crops if it doesn't keep raining. Profits. Yeah, we just come out to this first paddock in Triticale, the one we sowed first, obviously. Um, this is the one with those cypress trees up behind where you are looking at me. Um, we've come out here, me and Dad were having a quick chat then about the options of spraying this. Um, as I've said a couple of times, there's still a lot of weeds, thistles and dock, and a bit of other crap. Um, and we're just sort of, because of how wet it is, we're just sort of, sort of balancing up what will be the best option. Um, for the paddock and for the price and whatnot. So, yeah, I'll let Dad have a chat though. Um, he's a bit more knowledgeable on this than I am. So, you know, Dad. Yeah, good day, viewers. I don't know about being knowledgeable, I only make it up as I go along. Um, if it. Oh, it's hard to say. This cam will probably show you this thistle, docks, and that yellow flowering. little bit of hogweed but that don't really matter in this instance for making a bit of hay but um, if we had a week of fine weather the boys next door could probably get up and over it with their tractor and their big boom they've got a fairly wide boom spray so they wouldn't make too much of a mess but if it keeps staying wet it's just on the borderline now of making a mess and uh, as far as I'm concerned I don't want a heap of wheel marks and stuff in the paddock when I'm trying to cut hay mightn't worry a lot of other people but it gives me the willies so 
we'll give it another week. There's no drama as far as detriment to the crop because it's it's slow growing at the minute because it's been cold and wet. So it's all right. We just want to get rid of the weeds. So uh, we'll play it by ear another week or a fortnight or so and see what happens um, and take it from there. If we've got to get the plane in to do it, we'll have to weigh up the costs because it's been a long time since I've used or you know, had to use the, the plane to spray everything. So the last time I used it was to um, ripen some sunflowers that were getting late in the year. So uh, we'll just have to make a price comparison and see what goes from there because we've got this paddock and the other paddock out the back and um, yeah, we'll just have to see. It's just one of those things. So that's about as much as I can tell you about this at the moment. Yeah, so we'll head out to, oh, we still have to these blocks off of the sheep but we'll head out to the other paddock as well see the dog um, but yeah what dad was saying with the the ruts from the wet areas there's that I uh, used I put a, a card up to the video when we were sowing and whatever in this paddock but this paddock we had a lot of trouble with last year because it was so wet there's a sort of a lowish area where sort of the water runs down into a corner of the paddock and that area holds a lot of water and the tractor get was getting not stuck but it was chewing up a lot of the ground and those ruts when it came to cutting the hay we go over with the slasher and I had a lot of trouble where I'd hit those ruts and it'd break shear bolts and we had a lot of trouble with the slasher last year and it was a real headache. Um, so if we can avoid ruts and uh, having to stuff around later on, um, that'll be good. So yeah, it's just another thing we've got to think about as well. So we'll drop these blocks off and go up and look at this other paddock. All right, I just dropped off the um, block to the Dooney lambs. And now we'll just come into the next paddock next to them, which has got the uh, the white Suffolk ram in there, in here, with um, some ewes, uh, the any ewes. So they'll be making some fat and more fat lambs again for us, uh, hopefully this year. Um, yeah, so I'll just come over, there's an old water tank there, and there's a trough, and this is where we're going to drop off the next, I think there's two more blocks in the back. So we'll drop them off. Dad just shot over to have a look at the uh, the lambs up in the other side of the paddock. Um, on the quad bike, so he's just having a check over them, and he's just on his way back here. We'll drop them off, and then just over there is the pa next paddock of Triticale. So that was the second one we sowed, and the one that's probably struggling a little bit more. But we'll have a chat about that one when Dad comes back, and um, then yeah, I don't think we're really going to be up too much too much more today. I think um, me and Dad might go cut up a little bit of wood. But I won't film any of that. We'll just leave this video as a nice short one, a little update. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. But we'll have that to come back down here and then we will drop these blocks off and have a chat about that paddock trit Carly. So here's one of the older blocks. You can just see they sort of get licked away like that. Obviously the sheep love them. So they lick them away. So we'll drop off these two here and then um, have a look at this crop. There's dad over there, coming through the mud. Because that one that I just showed you was still on the ground there, still a little bit left. Dad just said that we'll just chuck one to the um, the ewes here, and then I'll take the other one back up to that feeder and give it to them. Another the, the lambs. And these ones are wrapped in plastic. I don't know why, but they are. So we'll give this one a taste test. That's a lot saltier than the other ones. I like this one better. Alright, I'll wait for Dad to come back down and then we'll 
have a look at that crop over there. All right, so we're just out in the second paddock of Triticale. Um, I'll let Dad talk about it. I've spoken about it enough probably in the last few videos. Um, and he can probably add maybe a little bit more than what I could. So I'll give you over to him. We're in the second one. There was a lot more grass on this one when we sowed it. And again, I know I'm always going on about being wet and cold, but that's how it's been here this year. And this paddock's always been a wet paddock. Um, the only time you ever made any good hay or good crops off of this when it was bloody dry. So uh, the trits struggled a fair bit in this one because it's got it's a heavier soil compound too. It's very clay this paddock as compared to the other one. It's a little bit more loamier. And um, it, you could probably see if Cam showed you on the ground here, so when it gets wet, it runs together. It's kind of like bloody concrete. So um, it's a very hard paddock to work, this one. But the trits here, where you can see it, it just hasn't bloody taken off like in the other paddock even though it's slow too but like I say if we get if we can get some decent weather dry weather with a bit of sun and when it starts to warm up a bit everything will take off it mightn't be as good as what we'd hoped for but it's going to be better than nothing so we're probably standing in the worst part of the paddock too if we go up further towards those trees um, it'd be a bit better, but yeah, we'll, we'll get something off it with a bit of luck. So again, too, we'll probably, we'll have to spray this because the docks, there's more dock in this one, um, nothing else. That's about the only real weed we've sort of got to worry about, so, uh, we'll see what takes place later on down the track. Anyway. Have a good weekend, Mr. Walker. All right, well, <clears throat> yeah, we're pretty much down there, done out here. I'll draw off that last block, and then I think we're going to head back up to the shed. So um, we'll see you back up there. Come back up to the shed. Um, we'll probably finish up the video here. We'll just keep it sort of as a bit of an update video. Pretty short. There's not much really else going on today. Me and Dad are going to try and cut up some wood or find some wood to cut up. And other than that, probably not a lot. So we'll wrap it up here. And as usual, thanks everybody for watching. Any questions or anything, chuck them down in the comments. We're always happy to answer any questions. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Eric. Right.